<laughs> Look at him. He's like going for you. <laughs> Where are you going? After a couple awesome days in Cusco City, it was time to head to the Sacred Valley to actually see all those jaw-dropping sights we learned about in the museums we visited. So we had a car pick us up mid-morning and we traded in the urban streets of Cusco for the rural landscapes of Urubamba. Now, the drive alone to the Sacred Valley was a full day by itself because of all the stops we made along the way. The scenery was so beautiful. Rolling hills, lush valleys. I just couldn't stop staring at all the raw beauty of Peru's sweeping landscapes. Now, after a couple stops here and there admiring the scenery, we found ourselves at Cochahuasi Animal Sanctuary. And guys, you know how I feel about animal tourist attractions. Always make sure you do your research before visiting any kind of attraction with animals and make sure it's reputable. Cochahuasi is a legit animal sanctuary that's actually dedicated to rescuing wild animals from poachers, cruel owners, you name it. They rescue them, they care for them, and when possible, release them back into the wild. Hola. <laughs> now one animal in particular they educated us on was the Andean condor, which is dangerously at risk of extinction, largely due to poachers wanting to sell their feathers to tourists like us. So please don't support this trade. Don't purchase any feathers from this endangered species. After leaving the sanctuary, just a short 15 minute drive brought us to Pisac, a small traditional Andean village in the Sacred Valley, surrounded by Incan ruins. Now, if you didn't get a chance to do any shopping in the markets of Cusco City, you have plenty of chances here. The artisan market is filled with all kinds of colorful handicrafts, knitted scarves, trinkets, jewelry, clothing, ceramics. It can be overwhelming and it made me like really hungry. So we grabbed lunch and hit the road. So after all that, it was time to check into our Airbnb. And y'all, I was not prepared for how amazing this place was. So we left Cusco City yesterday and came to the Sacred Valley and we checked into this amazing Airbnb. Look at this place, you guys. It is paradise. When I retire one day, I want to live on a property like this. Once we finished gushing over our little garden cottage, we went to a restaurant recommended by our host and we devoured our last meal for the night. The next morning, we got a late start to our day because, well, we loved our Airbnb and didn't want to leave. It was so cozy. We got up and we went to this all glass yoga room in the middle of the lawn. It was peaceful. There were mountains in the background. Birds were chirping. A stream was flowing. My friends got their yoga on. I would have too, but I hate yoga. So I did an ab workout instead. For anybody who wants a zen-like experience in the middle of the Sacred Valley, leave Cusco City. After you finish exploring Cusco, come to the Sacred Valley and stay in this Airbnb. I mean, the place is amazing. The property manager is so nice. I'm really enjoying my experience here. 
had our time not been limited, I literally could have stayed there all day. But the clock was ticking, so off we went to our excursions for the day. We arrived at the Incan ruins of Morai located in a very remote area of the Sacred Valley. It's speculated that these circular terraces were used by the Incas as an agricultural laboratory. Beautiful moray. It's gorgeous. Later on, we arrived in Salineras, the salt mines of the Sacred Valley. I have never seen so much salt in my life. I guess back then the Incas hadn't yet figured out that that much salt causes high blood pressure. What they did know was that salt is delicious, so they made a lot of it. This is Salineras, which are the salt mines. And I actually uh, bought some salt straight from Salineras. Now instead of catching a ride back to our cottage, we put our legs to work and we hiked back. We are hiking all the way down from the salt mines all the way back to our Airbnb. It's quite the hike, but it's so worth it for all this beautiful scenery. So rickety. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> Hola. Hola. So at this point we've been hiking for about an hour and a half now. Uh, it's almost sunset and again we've seen nothing but beautiful scenery. I'm really glad we decided to hike back to the Airbnb as opposed to taking the car back. It's a really good idea. After that hike, we deserved a good meal, so our host recommended another amazing restaurant for us to check out. the moment we've all been waiting for. We depart the Sacred Valley and go to the world famous Machu Picchu. So keep up with the adventure by connecting with me on social media. And come on y'all, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe.